Okay, so here we are on the autonomous bus in Seoul Municipality, uh, run by 42 Dot, and we're leaving the Israel Embassy Station yeah. <laughs> on Changyechan <laughs> Plaza at the beginning of a 3.4 kilometer route. I'm here with my wife Nomi, and uh, what the reason that we're here today is because Korea, Seoul City is doing very advanced project here with autonomous bus and I wanted to call attention that also the state of Israel is investing a lot of money uh, in the next two years for public transportation which will be AV and uh, one of the differences between Israel and Korea is that in Israel the regulation is already allowing for movement on public roads But we're not on any public road. Yes. So this public road is we, we are in the geofence and then and it's done. So we get the signal from the traffic, traffic lights, and then these vehicles recognize that okay, we need to stop. <laughs> for the driver. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out, like, what will it be like on a bus in Israel without a driver? There won't be anyone to argue with. <laughs> it looks like parallel parking is going to pass away and, you know, it's be given to machines, you know. I always thought of parallel parking as like the, you know, ultimate test of human intelligence. Uh, the, and, and the camera is understanding that it's people in front of it through artificial intelligence? Yeah, so, so two things, uh, the visual Im information and the AI judgments. In other words, to, to be able to figure out what the camera is seeing. Correct. So uh, we're arriving back again at the Israel Embassy stop. Yes. It's amazing that you have a stop specifically at the Israeli embassy. I wonder what this means. <laughs> <laughs> it means bright feature between the two countries. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Israel <laughs> embassy. Did you notice? Oh, yeah, I Google it. <laughs> I can tell you when the blue sky goes in the winter.